Hey, we're at Edge with Jacob. Wait for the camera. Come on in, guys. So this is, I mean, they're printing the PC board right now. So this is the PC board that's used in the L5P Duramax Pulsar. So a lot of this stuff is still manufactured right here in-house. Some of the stuff that's real high volume stuff we haven't done off-site. But yeah, just out of, uh, out of necessity. Mm -hmm. so we <clears> the fact that you have the ability to be able to make the boards in house is insane. Yeah, so we can make the boards right here, and then a lot of them, like when we're doing development, obviously we're doing we one off development sure. stuff. We can build the boards as, we're, as the engineers are developing and test them. And if they need to make changes, we can do that here. So it kind of helps speed up some of that. But well, it's also nice to have the control. Everything that's on the Pulsar line is done here in, in house. A lot of the stuff, like the CTS3 based stuff, is all done off site because it's such a high volume. Yeah, high volume stuff. So, but it was originally all done here. You know, the development of it, research yeah. and all that stuff was done here. And then once it went full production, it, was, it moved off site. But it's super cool. They still print a lot of stuff right here. <laughs> these guys do all our validations when we have a new product that's ready to go to the market. Before it gets to the market, these guys will find beta testers, trucks, they'll install the products and then we test everything. And then those betas will go out and test the stuff and give these guys the feedback. And if we find glitches or bugs or whatever it is, these guys are the ones that are transferring that information to engineering to make changes if there's something in the code that needs updating or something like that. I like the sound of all. It seems like that was probably a problem. So this is Dyno 1. I need one of these. <laughs> so it helps weed out a lot of the stuff in the development. This is a 2022. We're just we're working on a hardware device. It'll be an inline device for the 17 through 22s. It'll be a plug-in inline module that'll adjust your rail pressure, do some math fooling, your map, that kind of stuff. So it won't be a major horsepower tune, but it'll be simple plug and play, and then there'll be no trace left in the system. So if you see it on the factory warranty, it's an unplug it, take it to the dealer, they can do whatever they want, bring right. it back home, plug it. You don't have to worry about it getting flashed over. Or right. Yeah, when we were doing mechanic in, that's what we would use on yeah. the newer Cummins and yeah. stuff. Just so yeah, there's no VIN counting being done. So it's super easy to, to uninstall and take away. And then like on the 22 truck, we've added, it's like 63 horsepower. Oh, wow. 20 to 22. It's pretty impressive. With just um, the plug-in module, that's pretty good. Yeah, and it, it works good. It's helped with the fuel miles a little bit because it's increasing the, the rail pressure better atomization. I mean, it's, it's really like an old school rail pressure box from back in the day. What's just the, a lot smarter. <laughs> no doubt. But, but, what's the, what's the, uh, the altitude around right here? We're at 4,400 right here. 4,400. That makes a big difference too. Like trying to get that right at, um, at altitude is yeah. pretty difficult, I'm sure. Yeah, so I mean, it, the, this one will be good. This one will be controlled through a phone app. So you'll be able to adjust the power levels with your steering wheel control, your cruise control buttons. So if you want to change from power level zero up to five, it's just the cruise control button oh, up and cool. down. That's cool. Which is something we've been doing on the GM side for about three years, but we're just getting ready to release it to the Ram and the power stroke guys. But then there's a smartphone app that allows you to adjust your tire size, adjust your caliber of your, your larger tires, gear ratio changes. They ever, on the, they ever figure out how to get it past 37 inch tires? Yeah, with this one, we can go up to a 40. That's a, that's a big deal. So, yeah, when you flash the computer, 37 is the limit. But with yeah. this hardware being in line, we can do it a little better. So that, that'll be big. Um, but the, the app's cool because you can adjust the pedal sensitivity through the app. So if you like driving on power level three, but the pedal's too touchy, you can have you'll be able to turn down that pedal control. Huh. So you can kind of fine tune the driving experience. So, so. so it'll actually have, it'll have the um, throttle booster built in, basically. Yeah. Very cool. production area so these are our different production cells you can see we've got different production lines depending on what products need to be put through the door that day um, we try and work our inventory a couple of days or weeks in advance so that we're never get to a zero point on the shelf so we, we track our inventory really closely and try and watch those trends so that we can stay ahead of the orders as they come in so that there's never a wait time we try and guarantee that, that the product ships that day or the next day yeah that makes uh, that, that makes a big difference as far as like uh, sales volume, I'm sure. For sure. People don't like to wait. So, they, so for 
production has finished this row of parts, and they'll come down to the shrink wrapper, and they'll, shrink wrap, and they'll go over to the shipping department, and they'll check into our inventory once they're all shrink wrapped. This is our RMA area, so all the stuff that comes in is returns. Holy uh, crap. And then and we obviously returns and think they'll, they'll see what they even done. But some of it, some of it, obviously because it's software product, a lot of it can come in, whether it's a dealer that ordered too many and they return them, or it's an end user that's purchased it and ended up returning it. A lot of this stuff we can reset to factory and then we'll sell it as a refurbished unit. That makes sense. We have a refurbished channel on Amazon or whatever it might be. So we, we don't, we can't sell it as new sure. because it's been in somebody else's hand, but we do sell quite a bit of refurbished stuff. Well, I mean, like like for us, we, uh, we're we not, I mean, I know the size of our company, which is significantly smaller than this, and we see a ton of returns. So like, I don't think a lot of people understand like logistically how yeah. big of a deal that really is. Yeah, it is. So we've got what, four guys here that handle return stuff. Very cool. Hey. Well, all the three shelves, what does it typically handle? Uh, I think there's about 600 on the shelf. So you, you run through 600 insights a day? On average. On average, sure. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that is nuts. Yeah, it's really an up and That's down. That's pretty freaking cool, though. So, so the whole room was built um, so we could meet CARB's requirements. So this room is emission or climate controlled so that we can keep the temperature at specific temperatures. And then we actually have to do te emissions testing at different temperatures because the NOx can be different based off. So this room is, is was specifically engineered and built so that we can do everything that CARB would do. Um, so we got, oh, you saw that big pipe right on the outside. There's two big giant fans. So we can circulate the, we can keep the doors closed, but we can circulate the air through here. Are all of y'all sales exactly like mm -hmm. at all five locations? Mm -hmm. Good grief. So we can we can even use that to our advantage. So we can test the same thing, the same exact vehicle, the same exact tune at a different facility and see. In, in actual, in, yeah, in, in actual like, different elevations because uh, Florida is going to be a lot, correct. a lot and less. Humidity and yeah. all that kind of stuff. And so we can compare. Too. Yeah. That's just done for sound. Yeah, 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 sure. Keep it as quiet as possible. But when the fans turn on in here, it'll blow your hat off. It's <laughs> like so much air through here. It's crazy. But it's pretty cool, though. I mean, yeah. absolutely. The fact that you can do it in house is pretty cool. That's about it. Cool. Well, man, we appreciate you giving us the, the cool tour today. Yeah.